And that was it. That was the full 24 hour live stream cut down to basically important parts where we did get to see a full clear version of Impident trolling us. We seen him during the E3 demo. Wasn't revealed on the Pokemon Sword and Shield official website by the Pokemon company as of yet. And then we seen Ponyta, well, or Galarian version of Ponyta, and then got teased for Rapidash at the end with the cry. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today let's just dive into this whole idea of a 24 hour live stream from the Pokemon Company of an area inside of Galar, which I thought was amazing. I didn't get to talk about this on my channel once we got the announcement of this 24 hour live stream, and I thought it was going to be jam packed with brand new Pokemon and brand new news for the Pokemon Sword and Shield games and boy boy I was wrong now I was moving I'm currently moving into a new studio and I'm gonna get into all of the information about why I'm moving and stuff like that in a different video for won't be jammed into this one but I was moving and I couldn't just you know record myself my reactions to the live stream so I was constantly checking in jumping on Twitter Sarah B, Joe Merrick did a great job as far as keeping everybody updated he's a madman you should follow him on twitter if you don't because again he's a madman he went and watched the whole 24 hours like again like i said give show him some love on twitter and he covered the event on sarah b and again while every time i jumped in there was nothing going on i think i saw a pikachu once but that was it i didn't see anything going on so once i seen that there was actually a reveal or a hint a lot of people were cutting out the hint with the sounds of horse running or galloping and then spotting the tail and then you see it run by with the fog or whatever from Impidimp and stuff like that. I thought this was an excellent way to kind of reveal a Pokemon inside of its habitat. Should they have put in more Pokemon into this 24 hour live stream? Yes, but it does tell us a few things. One, they don't want to just reveal and spoil you everything that's going to be inside of this habitat or in this place that we're going to be able to catch in the game as of yet. What we do know, Impidimp and Ponyta or this Galarian form of Ponyta. They haven't uh, officially announced Impendent or Ponyta and it's getting on my nerves. I want them to do that, but it, they, they, they haven't yet. So I'm just gonna be referring it as Galarian Ponyta. Those Pokemon are gonna be catchable from what I could see inside of this area inside of Sun and Moon. I forget what was the name called. It's probably on the live stream name. Either way, I think this is a good idea. I think they should do more areas to kind of reveal more Pokemon. But again, 24 hours, oh my God, you're gonna drive the Pokemon community crazy. I thought it was pretty cool. There was a couple of memes floating around about what Pokemon was gonna get revealed here. They had the Untitled Goose Game picture show up and stuff like that and other memes. I thought it was pretty cool. I Again, I enjoyed the 24 hours while I was moving and then jumping on Twitter and this being trending and then everybody just throwing their two cents in about what was actually going on. I thought it was cool. Galarian Ponyta obviously looks like it's going to be a maybe a fairy type, maybe a ghost, depending on the way it looked. But then again, it might just be full fairy, especially with the way the color looked. I'm in love with it. My daughter's in love with it. I showed my daughter um, once I seen that it looked like my little pony and she was like oh like she wanted it and i'm like we, we, you gotta wait you gotta wait till november we're gonna play through the sword and shield together i'm gonna show her how to play the game show her the ropes her first pokemon game and again her first new generation pokemon game so she's excited for it and again i, I was i'm quite excited I, I am quite happy a lot of people were saying another generation one pokemon getting love and i'm like yo yo really you should shut the shut the fuck up bro because this is one that is definitely dope it definitely looks super clean it looks like attention to detail to a thousand on the design on this there i do want to point out there's currently one of it at the end was lacking a tail and is currently unclear of why that one was lacking a tail but i don't think that was done unintentionally i think that was done intentionally maybe there were different between the gender 
you know, the boy doesn't have a tail or and he has like a longer um, unicorn horn or something like that. Who knows? But until they actually reveal it, we're not going to know. We're just going to be guessing. I seen um, theories of people saying that it may be a split evolution. Maybe it evolves into Rapidash. Maybe the other one doesn't evolve into Rapidash. It evolves into something new from the Galar region. Again, a lot of speculation is going on until the Pokemon company officially clarifies us and tells us about this Galarian Ponyta. We don't know. So let's talk about it in the comment section below let me know what you think of this galarian ponyta let me know what you think about Impendip showing up here and still haven't been revealed let me know your thoughts on the 24-hour live stream and would you like the pokemon company to continue to do stuff like this to reveal pokemon i think it's a cool idea i just wish it wasn't 24 hours especially if they're just going to reveal one pokemon in this like always guys i answer all comments so i'm gonna see you down there in the comments if you like the video please Please hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving on to recommended if you enjoyed the video and want to see more hit that subscribe button i do a ton of videos just like this one especially until the pokemon game drops once they drop i'm gonna do a ton of how-to videos on the game and let's plays and stuff like that covering the pokemon sword and shield game so if you want to come on that adventure with me hit that subscribe button we hit 1k guys so my 1k video will drop on my explanation of why i'm moving and what i'm moving in into. I know I have a studio here, but I'm moving out of the studio into another one. I'm going to let you know all that news inside of the new 1K video, which should drop shortly. I just need to re-record it for certain reasons, but obviously it's going to drop soon. Us hitting 1K, obviously the new goal is going to be 2K, so let's try to hit 2K before next year's E3? Maybe my goal to be at 2K before E3 next year. So again, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.